Good morning. Let me introduce myself. My name is Derwin Banks. I'm a farmer. I'm a special kind of farmer. I grow linseed. I grow linseed for oil and my company is High Barn Oils. But um, I'm not going to talk about linseed today. I'm going to talk about flax. And the main reason for that is because there seems to be so much confusion about linseed and flax. People don't know what they're buying and so on. So today my ambition is to and spread a little light on the subject for you. Let me explain the subtle but important differences between linseed and flax. Linseed is a shorter plant, up to about 18 inches tall. It has lots of branches and many pods, so lots of seeds. Flax is about three feet tall or more, and it has fewer branches and not so many seeds. So if you're a farmer in this country and you want to grow flax for linen, you'll say to your merchant, please send me some flax seeds. If halfway through the year you've only got a plant about this tall, you know he's sent you the wrong seeds and you're going to be exceedingly cross. So the point about this is if you're, if you're growing seeds for oil or to sell seeds in a store, you wouldn't grow a tall plant with all the attendant problems which puts its energy into the stem and fewer seeds, you'd grow linseed. So that's the real difference between linseed and flax. Linseed, lots of seeds, lots of oil. Flax, not so many seeds, not so much oil. Flax is a very ancient plant and remnants of it have been found as far back as 8,000 years ago in Neolithic times. Uh, it spread from there all the way through to the Egyptians and you'll find all the mummies in the tombs are wrapped in flax and not cotton. Cotton really didn't come in until about the 1700s uh, and up until that time your choice for clothes would have been wool or animal skins probably or linen. Maybe if you were a Chinese emperor you would have had silk. Okay, I'm going to show you about flax and I've got a number of artefacts here which I'll talk through with you. But this piece of flax, fibre flax, uh, was given to me by Simon, uh, my great friend who makes salmon boats and if you'd like to look at his site it's called Flaxland. Uh, he's got another one called the Court of the Silver King. Quite an amazing chap and he makes boats out of linen he's made from flax. And he also gave me this piece and you can see how strong it is. So you can make really strong ropes and the insides of most bell ropes today will be made of flax. And of course fishing line also made of flax. And wouldn't it be great if the, this was all made of flax today and then there wouldn't be maybe so much plastic going in the sea. It also made mattress thread. And here's a distaff, which is one of the big differences between spinning flax and wool. Your spinning machine would have had one of these on to help separate the fibres. This is a lovely picture of flax in the field. So you can see it's a really tall plant. So if you're a farmer growing flax, this is what you're growing it for, you're growing for the stem. The history of flax in the UK. Everybody's heard of Irish linen and actually here is a, an Irish pound coin with a flax plant on the back. I've also got a little video here of this is an Irish vintage tractor club who wanted to plant an acre of flax before everybody died out who knew how to deal with it. Uh, and that's a fascinating little uh, video there. And. Um, so Ireland was a big centre, but it's unfortunately mostly died out now. I don't think there's any, any more being grown in Ireland. Uh, in England, uh, Bridport and that area was one of the areas that were quite strong. They used to grow it near the villages of Coca, and uh, Bridport was uh, a great rope making and net making area. Here is a flax weaver. I thought you might like to see this little brambly hedge flax weaver. We don't have any workers on the farm like this, uh, but there he is. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little canter through my artifacts, my flax artifacts, and it shed just a little light on what flax is used for and the difference between linseed and flax. And uh, I will be continuing to do more research and m making more little videos about linseed and flax, and I hope you'll keep an eye out for them. Thank you very much.